Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. So Cancer Energy talks about the home. It talks about family. It talks about mother and nurturing. Some of the lower vibration of Cancer Energy is insecurity. And it's so easy for one to not even become aware of their insecurity because Cancer Energy is a cardinal energy. And cardinal energy is an energy that goes from one extreme to the next. So because Cancer's emotions are constantly bouncing around from one extreme to the next, if a person doesn't meditate and spend enough time in silence, they can totally lack self-awareness and not realize what's actually happening within them and what are some of the things that is triggering certain behavior or creating certain outcome to relationships. And I like to talk about the hermit crab and how the hermit crab represents, you know, the crab represents cancer and the hermit crab spends a lifetime outgrowing shells and finding new ones to protect its delicate interior from the harsh exterior of the sun. So that that delicate interior represents the insecurities that the cancer energy suffers from. So because cancer energy suffers from insecurities, this is where cancer will hide themselves away from the rest of the world, fearing that people will recognize their insecurities. It's almost like, say, some cancers can suffer from like, you know, what we may call imposter syndrome, where everyone might think they're so great, you know, and they are great, but at the same time, them themselves, you know, don't think they're that great because of the different insecurities that they're dealing with within themselves. Because basically, you know, our the moon energy brings light to darkness. And with cancer being ruled by the moon, it reflects a lack of light when it comes to one's emotions. And then again, the cardinal energy where emotions are going from one extreme to the next. Sometimes it's hard for someone to realize that basically in this moment, they're triggered by something that happened like an hour ago because their mind, you know, might not be on what happened a month ma- an hour ago, but it triggered something within them. And from that, they're, you know, still reacting to it. And this can cause cancers to be like gaslighters. Like cancers could be like the most gaslighting sign of the other signs. And gaslighting in the sense that, you know, when we gaslight each other, it's when we play mind games on each other in the sense that, you know, someone might be really good at something, you know, and the cancer might gaslight by pretend that they don't know that the person is good at something or just, just pretending that they don't know what's going on. Like the word gaslighting came from this movie. I forgot the name of the movie exactly, but it's this man who um, got married to this woman to steal her money. And he would do things like turn the lights down and try to make her think that she's going crazy. You know, play with her emotions by pretending like he doesn't see what's happening when it's obvious what's happening. And cancers could be good at that, you know, where they'll gaslight you, you know. They might, you know, ignore you or pretend that they don't know or see what's happening with you or play it down in a way, you know, play it down in a way where they know what they're doing in the sense that, you know, something that someone's doing might be on a hundred and cancer will acknowledge it, but like bring it down to a, a 20, you know, still acknowledging it. So this is where someone could be petty, where it's like, they're paying you a compliment, but at the same time, they're paying you a compliment, but they're also stabbing you. And you don't even realize that you got cut until way after. Because even though they're playing, paying you a compliment, at the end of the conversation, you feel gooey, you feel icky, you feel gross. It's like, you, you, it's like an example 
that I'll give. It's like someone might call you and say, whoa, like, you know, you did, you know, the other day I was speaking to so-and-so and they were talking about, you know, building, making a certain kind of dress. And when I went over to your page, I noticed that you made the same kind of dress. So they're copying you because they know you're so good. But, you know, they're really good at what they do, too. So, you know, their dress is going to be a bit more on the higher end. So it's like this person is saying this person copied you because they know you're so good. But, you know, they're super good. They're super sophisticated or they have a certain way about them. So even though they copy you, don't worry, it won't be like yours because it'll it'll be even better but they don't you know you won't come out and say it that way but you'll word it in a way towards like you're giving a compliment but at the same time an uppercut is coming right behind that compliment and the person won't realize what happened but at the same time they just won't feel right you know and unknowingly it's so easy for this energy to trigger and trigger and wake up insecurities that exist within other people because of the whole gaslighting and the passive aggressive behavior because cancer energy is a very passive aggressive energy when operating in the lower vibration you know like i mentioned you just got off the conversation uh, the phone with someone and you don't even realize that they just cut you you know, and another low vibration of cancer energy is cancer energy represents the mother energy. And even though mother energy is a very powerful energy, a lower vibration of mother energy is codependency and even dependency. So there's some situations where this energy will support bad behavior just to have people around. You know, this is the person that will encourage the person to eat the cake, even though they know they're diabetic and overweight or whatever. You know, this is the type of person be, and because they want the person to keep coming back to them and keep, you know, the comfort of that relationship, even if it's toxic. You know, this is the energy that will keep when in a lower vibration will keep toxic relationships around them just to just to have a relationship will keep them toxic and enjoy diving into toxicity because of all that passive aggressive behavior and then the dependency part of this energy is you know a person might feel completely um lack motivation and just lack um, ambition and even like basically how they see themselves to the point where it's like it, they're crippled in place and don't have what it takes. I mean, we all have what it we we all have what it takes to create and live our best lives and experience success here on earth. But the lower vibration of the cancer energy is one where, you know, this person will not feel like they're capable. So it's almost like they're frozen in place in toxic, abusive relationships where the partner is constantly cheating or doing negative things. And again, they're nurturing negative behavior just to keep that person around so this could be the partner that knows you know because their partner is a cheater in order to not lose their partner they support their partner getting with other people and even play as an accomplice in recruiting people for their partner or for their friends or for whatever you know so this is the lower vibration of this energy where it will nurture negativity bad behavior and just like like I mentioned, the mind games and the gaslighting and things like that. And it's important for us to realize how that energy, you know, putting negative energy out, like basically it manifests in our reality and the outcome of the things that we experience in life is a reflection of that. And but this energy, you know, is a powerful energy when operating in the higher vibration, but in the lower vibration, you know, I mentioned all the toxicities and everything else having to do with that energy. I guess that's all I can think of to say um, right now. If you guys are still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.